Now, Mankind Divided is on console. It's going to be on the new console, so it'll be on the PS4, and it'll be on the Xbox One. Oh, that was another thing I forgot to mention about research. Once you finish research, if, um... If there's only one door left to open, and you research something that says you need to open three doors, when you open that last door, that research automatically completes, so that you don't lose the industry you put into it. So that's a good thing. Ooh, that's cool, Life Siphon. So apparently, uh, for those of you who can't see the chat at home, um, I can't pronounce the guy's name but, name, but the voice and motion capture of Adam Jensen from Deus Ex Human Revolution liked and favorited, it, favorited Life Siphon's tweet when he found out about it. So that was actually pretty awesome. But yes, Mankind Divided is going to be on the PS4 and Xbox One. It's also going to be on PC. I have a PC that can run Human Revolution. If it can run that, it could probably run Mankind Divided. So first of all, I need to finish Human Revolution. Okay, so here's where we stand. We're now sitting in an elevator. The good news is... Um, there is no good news. <laughs> uh, I start off with 24 dust, and I'm kind of back where I started, basically. So I gotta pick a direction. We're gonna go down. I always go down first. Hurt, 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 hurt. Alright, pull back, pull back, pull back. Kill them! Okay. So now, um, at this point, in the first stage, I could have very easily just advanced both characters. But now that attacks can come from either direction, until I can establish a proper choke point, I'm gonna have to leave someone in the room with the crystal at all times. Just because there's the chance that the aliens could slip past and attack the crystal directly. And if they manage to destroy the crystal, it's game over. <sighs> okay, how do I want to start this off? Well, since this is probably going to be the first major choke point, let's go on ahead and start with an autodoc shard, a dust field generator. I'm going to put Max in here to start because... He, he took point last time, so this time we're going to let Nurse Ratchet take the lead. Yeah, that'll work. And uh, then, of course, a couple of prisoner prods. That should do nicely. And the room is now defended. Alright, Nurse, to the right. Go back. You know, I may have wasted some industry doing that. I probably shouldn't have now that I think about it. I probably would have been better off just exploring this room first. Oh well. It's been a while since I played this game, so... She can handle it. No, she can't. Okay. So far, so good. Alright, another research room, which we will light up. Also, if enemies manage to destroy this research crystal, anything you're researching goes away. Land module, what does this do? Defense to all major nodes on the floor, oh. This basically increases the defense of all modules on the floor. There are actually enemies that will attack modules directly. There are several types of enemies. There are those that will attack the first thing they see. There are those that will target the heroes specifically. There are those that will target modules specifically. And those that will target the main crystal and ignore everything else. All of them are dangerous, but I've never really known which ones are which until it was too late. So... But I also want Tear Gas because um, it does 4 damage per second to monsters in a room. And working in conjunction with some other abilities that can slow enemies down, this is a really good way to slow down and damage enemies. 
I want the land module, but I can't afford it. So for right now, we're going to go on ahead and go tear gas. All right. And some rooms like this one just have no modules in them at all, which kind of sucks. <coughs> <coughs> one moment <coughs> while I die. <coughs> and hiccup, don't forget that. All right, let's head downwards. Okay, doesn't appear to be anything in this room. <coughs> mm. My apologies for that, everyone. Ugh. <coughs> now I've got the hiccups, apparently. All right, industry. I need an industry generator. Because every turn that I can get more industry is good. Hmm. Alright. Head up. Oh, wait, wait. I almost forgot. You go there. That's the new choke point for the moment. Well, now. That's really lucky. Because I just found the elevator. If I wanted to, I could just take off out of here. But I'm not going to. Alright, let's see. I need more dust. Alright, that's going to be the new... Oh. Well, this is troublesome. If I had three more dust, I could power this room and be done with it, and just leave it, and it would be completely fine. Because then the enemy wouldn't be able to come at me from any direction but the back. Alright, how many turns until this is ready? One more turn. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna have to keep the situation fluid and see where it goes from here. Yes, yes, I know, I never asked for this. Okay. That room is now powered. Excellent. I will have him pull back to here. I know the crystal is under attack. Work together. Destroy them. Okay. How much industry do I have? Oh yes, I should also note that whenever you build things, the cost of the next one increases. So, yeah. I would love to build another science center or an industry generator, but I can't afford it yet, and I won't be able to for another two turns. What I can do, however, is research something new, I hope. Welcome back. Welcome back, Jax Orion. Uh, unfortunately, the land module disappeared, but I still don't have enough to research it right now. Uh, oh, oh. Actually, I want both of these. Then the Claymore Mine will actually damage enemies, groups of enemies, whereas the Nero Stun will actually cut down enemy speed in a room. This means working in conjunction with the tear gas, enemies slow down and will have. they'll be stuck in a room for longer. But, um. You know what, I'll go ahead and work that one first. Now, like I said, until I can establish a choke point, if I can get four more dust in this next room, I can make this my choke point, and I'll be happy. So for now, I'm gonna have to leave Max in here. There we go. I prefer he stand there. Alright. To the right! Excellent. Sometimes you'll find rooms like this which will have extra things in them, like, as you saw here, I just got some dust. Or, uh, some industry. Right? That's the new choke point. I want... I have plenty of food. That's building up pretty good. I need a science center. I need to build as much as I can right now. I want a tear gas. I want... I can't afford anything else. Can I afford these? Oh, because it cost industry. 
It costs industry, fool. <laughs> so I've got tear gas. That's good. And I've got a prisoner prod. That will just have to suffice. Next room. Oh, I forgot to do research. I wasted a time. Uh oh, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Work with your friend. Yeah, he's a dangerous one. He's gonna target the crystal directly. See what I mean? There are some enemies that will target the crystal directly and bypass everything else. Run over there and tell me if we have something that can be researched. Oh, that's right, we're already researching something. The Nero stun module. <coughs> Alright. Well, this area is now complete, so there's really not much else I can do right now. Once I open this door, though, the tear gas, the Nero stun will be ready. Oh, very nice. So now the Nero stun is unlocked. This is fortuitous. This guy will sell stuff. Now every room we go, every merchant we go to will buy for different resources. Some will buy resources with industry, some will buy with science, some will buy with food, some will even buy in dust. Luckily for me, it's all food, and I have a lot of food. So what do I have? I don't have anything for sale. I do have mill spec bracelets, which will up my defense and attack power. This is a secondary item, I think, it looks like. Can she wear them? Yes, she can. An iron shield, which will up defense. This is also an item. All right. I will let her buy those. I'll go ahead and buy these, because I think there's a one-to-one -one ratio on buying things. Pretty sure. Excellent. That will up her damage, her DPS, and everything. This will make her stronger, so she'll be able to compete and hold even with Max here, which is what I want. He can wear those. Those will up his defense. Good. No guns yet, but that's okay. Now that he is here, monsters will spawn and can attack him. If he dies, we lose the opportunity to actually... Um, buy stuff from him. But, on the upside, it does give one more group of enemies something to, uh, to fight first. So that does, in its own way, work to our advantage. I'm not gonna buy any more. Uh, what I'm gonna do instead is go ahead and do some more research and, um, just kind of rely on Max and the stun prod and these items here and see what happens. What can I research? Viral Injector. Let's see. Ooh. Spreads disease. Not social media alerts. Damage over time. Okay, so this works kind of like the tear gas does as well. Hmm. So which do you think I should get first? Should I get the claymore, which will allow me to attack groups of enemies? Or should I move on to the new viral injector? Also, Ragnarokend, uh, I am on easy, primarily because that is the only difficulty available aside from too easy. So, yeah. I'm thinking I should probably do the viral injector, just to, just to mix things up a little bit. Because I've never actually... Yeah, yeah let's, let's do that. We're going to do the viral injector. Now, of course, I'm almost completely out of science. I'm a little worried. It should also be noted that this room is dark with the, um, the dude in it, so there's a chance that monsters will spawn in there and attack him. That's his problem. Monsters, pull back! Yeah, see? That guy that got in here, the one that just died right here, he was slowed down significantly, unlike the other guy that was over here five minutes ago. So, this is going to work out nicely. This is going to work out nicely. And this is probably the last door, I want to say. Oh, it's not. Back, get back, get back. Hmm. 
Go ahead and use your ability. Okay, she's critical. I'm watching her. I'm watching her. That was close. That was very close. <laughs> well, thank you, Ragnarok, and uh, I will do my best to not die horribly and painfully. Um, given that there's probably only two rooms left and I don't want to hobble myself, I'm going to go ahead and not build any more things. Oh, sweet. The viral injector is unlocked, and I have a new character that I can hire, and I have enough money. Now I am very happy. I've unlocked this character before. This is Hikensha. Let's see. She knows little of life other than this lab where she grew up. <clears throat> She's a bird lady, basically. Um, she likes to fight with a sword and shield. And um, she's an interesting one. She's an interesting one. Uh, it should be noted that you can dismiss characters from your party and receive food in return. Um, you can also spend industry to um, reset their abilities instead of waiting for them to cool down. Let's see, what else is there? I believe her passive skill is... Um, let's see... She gets a speed bonus if she's in unpowered rooms. If there are monsters in the room, then there's actually an increased chance of her uh, of uh, dust dropping, which is good. She also has War Face, which will give her more attack power. Uh, but if she's in, oh, that's nice. If she's in an unpowered room. Her enemies will have minus 15 attack power. So having her advance by herself in the dark is actually advantageous to me. In fact, she actually works well by herself. So this is good. This is very good. I generally don't um, use the cooldown unless it's an emergency. Oh, I can inc oh 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 oh! I am totally getting the tear gas level two. Uh, also, the kip cannon is an, is an interesting one. The kip cannon will actually increase attack power based on how much industry you have. Uh, and the mechanical pal, um, basically it will increase the amount of uh, gain you get on a major module. So if a module, if a food module gives you plus three food, add one of these, you get plus four per turn. Uh, actually, Life Simon, she's not a robot samurai, she's a robot bird samurai that likes to fight in the dark, so she's actually kind of a demon. Now since there's only one room left, uh, I'm gonna go on ahead, I'm assuming there's only one room left, I'm going to go on ahead and have her take care of it. Now, did I tell the nurse... Where did I tell Nurse Ratchet to go? I told her to go in the wrong room. You stand in here and defend with Max. Oh, by the way, do you have anything for sale that she can use? I nearly forgot. Yes, there is. Can she wear it? Yes, she can. It will cut down her speed a little bit. And her DPS. But it'll give her more defensive power, and that's what we want. Now, uh, whenever you find a new hero to unlock them uh, for use at the beginning of the game, instead of selecting from a small group of characters, you have to get them through two levels in a dungeon. Alright, lady. To victory! Last room. Well, I got some more science, and the tear gas was upgraded. Excellent. Okay. So this actually looks like it's going to be a milk run, to be honest. Actually, everybody, just everybody go into the crystal room. Now I need to look over everyone's stats. Who is the fastest? Max has a speed of 33. Nurse Ratchet has a speed of 32, and 
Bird Lady Samurai has a speed of 28. She is the slowest, and this is not good. So it looks like Max is going to be the one to carry the crystal, which is fine. How do I want to do this? Well, darkening some of these rooms would play to my advantage, but there's no real point. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do, since I've got an auto dock shard and whatnot in here, is I'm basically just going to have the nurse and the robot samurai sit in here and wait. They're going to hold the enemy. They're going to hold while Max grabs the crystal and gets it to the elevator. Once it's at the elevator, I'll have the ladies fall back as well. Simple as that. Because they're going to have to fight their way through that first. So they're going to be slowed down by that and all that good stuff. Alright, Max made it. Let me pause so I can actually make sure I select everyone. No, no, I want... There we go. Ladies, time to fall back. I have a bad feeling about this. I still have a bad feeling about this. Yes. Yes, you do. And every two floors, um, the appearance should change, so we should be out of the rocky underground look and be in something a little less um, ominous. I have a bad feeling about this. I still have a bad feeling about this. I will always have a bad feeling about this. Max, you are just full of love and charm, aren't you? <laughs> 